everybody. I'm back. I've done a few things since um, my last video. I did tape put another layer of clear on the back. I added some of these stones here around the middle. I also painted the edge with um, liquid. Liquid with the liquid leaf. And I was just going to put a clear coat on the front and be done with it, but I've decided I'm going to do mostly clear, but I don't like how this did this, how it dried that way. So I am going to make a little bit of changes. I'm going to add some more rocks in here and some more over here, or they're not rocks, they're um, fire glass. Let me add some more in here. I just want to make it higher. So the first thing I want to do is take some clear. I did add just a tiny bit of the fine uh, iridescent glitter to it. And so I can glue those rocks in. It's a little chilly here today. We had quite the storms yesterday. It's just the clear with some of the iridescent glitter. You probably can't see it. And I'm just going to drizzle it over these uh, rocks so that it'll glue in the new ones that I put down. And it's not flowing real easy today because, like I said, it's chilly. I have the window open for ventilation. We're moving into fall. Hopefully we'll get an Indian summer. I was hoping to get some more camping in. I wanted to camp this weekend. But it's supposed to rain again today. So it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So this isn't moving real fast. I could heat it up a little bit. But I will in a minute to... Um, I could just take my torch. Loosen it up some. Just a little. I'm kind of liking that it's stiff. So I can have a little more control over it because I don't want my rings to keep spreading. I do not like how that gold did that. I covered up some of the gold because I thought it took over too much and then I'm not happy because because um now there's not enough really. I do like the back. I went ahead and covered the back because it's, it's quite pretty on the back, and some people may prefer that. Or, they may want to change it around every now and then just for a slightly different look. Who knows? Again, you don't want a real lot over your rocks because it'll take some of the sparkle away from the rocks and that's why I added just a little bit of the iridescent glitter in there was to kind of try and counteract that.
but you gotta have enough to to embed them in there too so It's the country cottage gold fever. Gold fever. And I want it thick because I want it to stay put as much as possible. Seems like the green kind of took over. Gold took over, now the green's taking over. Again, this is the magic blue, just resin, with that uh, fine Createology um, glitter from Michaels. And I think I'm going to uh, do it on this side. Bring back some of that blue. some of this uh, clear that I have with the iridescent in it. Just drizzle over here a little bit more. I want to make sure those are fucks are glued in there. Get it there. On the center part here. Instead of just the plain clear. I'm using the stone coat resin now. Um, I've used up the rest of that crystal clear, and I'm at the top layers, and I want uh, the, I prefer the stone coat, so I want the stone coat. Do it anymore, just it's going to start spreading out. I'm not gonna, I don't want to add too much of the glitter part. I want to be careful when I add this clear because I really don't want it to go over the edge. I just want it to go up to the edge as much as possible. It's going to run over some. Actually hoping it'll set up faster than usual. There's not a lot I want to do to it today, so you know I'm not worried about running out of time. I want it to come up there to that blue, so we've gotten all the spots. Of course, I can fill it in. On the, I will do another top coat. My birds are just carrying on today. I guess the cooler weather's got them feeling frisky. The seasons are changing. According to what I've seen, we're supposed to have a mild winter. A 
We shall see. What comes out of that? I had sanded down my edges before I painted uh, before I painted the sides and put that layer on the back. Just that final layer. Actually poured it in a smaller cup. It cures slower in a smaller cup than it does um, in the larger cup, but and it's easier to control. I didn't, um, I didn't sand my, um, sides completely smooth. I wanted them to have, uh, that rough look, you know, because it is supposed to be a rock. Or resemble a rock. This clear will add more depth to these areas where I'm not putting more color. sparkle of those, that other glitter from underneath. I'll show you both sides when it's done so you can get a, you know, get a close up of both sides, see the differences. Gotta wait till the end. I thought this was going to be the end, actually. Like I said, we can't we just can't seem to leave it alone. You know? Trick is knowing when not to overwork the piece. But then again, you're trying to capture what you're thinking in your mind's eye. And resin has such a mind of its own. Till it's completely, till it's cured, you know, you just don't know what it's going to decide to do. Um, one thing I haven't mentioned in any of the other vehicles, or er, vehicles, right. I think my mind's on camping still. <laughs> Getting in the vehicle and going. Um... In any of the other videos. Believe me, I'm not drunk. I know. Because <laughs> I trail off. I have a tendency to trail off. I have a tendency to talk about something and then move on to a different subject. Because I'm thinking what I'm doing while I'm talking and get sidetracked and end up going back to it later, maybe or maybe not. Trying to make sure that all the spots have been hidden. Hit. And there's something in there. Let's pop our bubbles first. Might be a bubble. I had hail in our storm last night. Nice thunder and lightning storm. I don't want that purple to keep going. Or purple. Jeez, where is my mind today? I don't know where I'm at. Like I said, camping, I think. That gold to, uh, did you, I don't know if you could see that, but there was a little bit of smoke 
coming up there, which means I just came dangerously close to scorching my resin, and we don't want to do that. It'll, it'll be a, it will set it immediately in that spot for one. And you will definitely have to have put another layer on top of it to cover up that scorch spot because you can tell. Which I'm going to be doing anyway, but I still don't want to scorch my resin. You just got to kind of keep things moving, but I'm hoping that I um, don't want that gold to go in there too far. Maybe. Yeah. more of this clear in here I can move it back there we go that's it I wanted to cover up that green line in there green and blue really Because why I thought it would make it back off is because, like I said, the resin is self-leveling. So if I added more uh, of the clear in here, in order to self-level, it's going to push out. And so, um, it should push that gold back. Which it did. back off. Now, since I've taken it out of the mold, I'm going to have to, even though I taped off the bottom, I do not want any drips to end up on the bottom, so I'm going to be watching underneath here for any places where the resin's going over the edge, you know, while I'm waiting for it to cure. Um, I'm going to be watching that close and wiping any of them away so that it's not going to be hard to pull the tape off the back. And um, we'll let something in it. Plus, watch for anything that's going to be flying in there. Right, where's my tweezers? Right close by where they should be. How about that? And if you get down at it eye level, you can... Uh, now you're going to see some things because you've got glitter in there. And glitter, you know, is not flat. It's not going to lay flat. All over, so it's going to appear like you got stuff in there. What it actually is is glitter. When this cures, let's see now the blues want to take move into the gold. Back blue. Now if I just keep hitting it with short things and not keep it in one place, I did puff a little bit of smoke there. I'm pushing it. Pushing it. Uh, here in the middle, you got the green and the gold. I'm sorry. Or green and the blue. My nose is trying to be runny today. And then different places where the glitter has spread on the different layers. So far, it's behaving on the sides. Not wanting to go over the edge, which is what I want. There is that lip, although when I um, that I talked about, when you have a mold, you're going to have that little lip there. I did sand a lot of it away. It was too higher in places than others. I tried to even up, even it up some. This layer and the next layer should cover that lip up. The next layer is just going to be clear, like I said. Hopefully, hopefully I'll stick to that. 
Hopefully I'll behave myself. Gold is just being, gold has a tendency to get on a roll sometimes. And um, let's try and take over the blue up here. Try and take over the middle right there. And I do not want it to do that. May add a little tiny bit of blue right here. I'm just gonna watch it a little bit. I do have a little bit more blue in my cup. So while I'm watching it, baby in it while it's curing, checking the bubbles, got to hit it with your torch uh, every um, half hour or so to keep bubbles, any new bubbles that form down. And um, if it starts the gold or the blue or any of it starts to take over, I'll be playing with it to try and tame it down. It's really starting to get a lot of depth in there. I know you can't see it from up there. When I'm completely done though, I will take it outside and um, in the sunlight so you can see all the sparkle and closer eye on it this time while it's drying because I do really want to just do one more clear coat just to top it all off and before I clear coat it the next time I'm going to take these markers that I also got off of Amazon and I can't really tell you the brand name because it's all in I'm assuming Japanese or Korean or something um, metallic color pens They are not the color they show on the cap. This is not that light blue. It's much darker. I used it on the back side. I can't show you right now. But I will go around the rings with this to add more, more depth to it. And um, before I put the fat last layer on, I was going to sign it on the back. I do my my first name. My first name is Luann. And uh, my thumbprint. That's my signature. But I didn't do it before I put that layer on. So I'm going to put it on the front somewhere. And I'm thinking maybe over here in the corner. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Or over here, down in here, in the corner. And, um, I'm really liking it. It's looking good right now. Looking good right now. And I am liking, you know, I didn't like this, the, the zigzag because it was so pointy. But I don't mind little dips like this. I mean, rocks don't form perfect little circles. I just didn't, it looked like, you know, a lightning bolt. And I wasn't real impressed with that. And so, but anyway, there you go. This is now, well, I did four layers before I took it out of the mold. I've put a fifth layer on the back, and this is now the sixth layer. Right now, this is about, it's well over a quarter of inch um, thick, so two had I thought of staying with two, just two layers, that would never would have worked. It would not have worked at all. Would not have been thick enough. Might have even broke. And I don't want that to happen now on a smaller, if I did just a small geode, two layers would be fine, but, because you don't want it real thick, but, um, with this one. So, that's five layers with that one. This I say four, five, this is the six, and hopefully, 
uh, final clear layer will be it. And so, again, I thank you. And don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button for that last, hopefully, and final layer of my geode. And to get to and to see the final product. And we'll see you soon.